Hi everybody, welcome back to Curiosity the Science Show. Right now I'm talking to you from, uh, you know the place? This is Bunde Khat, you know the waterfalls of Narmada River. I'm right here in the center of the country, Madhya Pradesh. I came here in Jabalpur for a conference, so back here for another episode of Curiosity. By the way, this episode got delayed. The first time ever happened in the last two years. Uh, the delay uh, is because of many things. I constructed my own home. I just shifted so that as you can imagine, it's such a big thing, right? And that is the reason why it got delayed, you know? So I hope uh, this kind of delay will not happen uh, next month onwards. So this is the episode number 37. This is a November episode of Curiosity, the science show. So what really happened in the last month? As we know that there are new strains of Omicron has come up, it's called BQ1 and BQ1.1 strains with a very high R0. So R0 is about the infectivity of the virus. So this is having around 16 to 18 is a R0 number, the reproductivity number. So that means that one person can infect 18 others with this BQ1.1 strain. That is really alarming. So be careful, do wear mask when you whenever you're traveling in, uh, uh, you know, this uh, public transportation. Then comes lumpy skin uh, disease, that is the, the disease of the cow uh, that has been spreading in the north India where I'm living, uh, you know, Punjab. Uh, yes, so lumpy skin disease, but there are a lot of misinformation uh, in the social media, you know, that uh, if you drink milk from the infected uh, cow that you will be getting, your skin will turn out to be lumpy. No, not at all. Uh, you know, please don't trust these uh, untrustworthy social media sources, right? The lumpy skin disease is not a uh, zoonotic disease. It is not zoonotic. Zoonotic is the disease that you get it from animals, right? Lumpy skin, there is no such thing. There is no issue with the, uh, the milk. Some uh, fake news I read is that lumpy skin disease is invented in Pakistan. No, it is coming from Bangladesh, actually, you know? And of course, it is coming directly from Africa, but all the way it went to the uh, Bangladesh, and then it, we got it. So it is all natural, right? Uh, it has nothing to do with Pakistan. And yes, yeah, so Nobel prizes have been announced, but I will reserve the Nobel prize for the next episode of Curiosity. And this episode, I'll quickly review the Ig Nobel. Ig Nobel, I'm always fascinated. It's all about curiosity-driven sciences that makes you laugh at first, but then it makes you think later. You know. So what are the, the prizes? So one of the best uh, Ig Nobel Prize, we already covered in this uh, curiosity, uh, you know, one of the thing, and I say I said that this is going to win uh, Ig Nobel. Let's wait and watch. Yes, that uh, our, you might remember the story about heart rate, which is being synced between the romantic partners. If you're in love, your heart rate and your uh, partner's uh, heart rate will be synced. You know that I have already covered in the curiosity and then I conjectured that this might win the Ig Nobel Prize. Yes, that discovery has won for applied cardiology. Look at that, applied cardiology. And for the literature for analyzing what makes legal documents unnecessarily difficult to understand. Very interesting, isn't it? And for biology, whether and how constipation affects uh, the mating prospects of scorpion. Very interesting, isn't it? And for medicine, when the patients undergo some forms of toxic chemotherapy, and if you substitute one of the constant of chemotherapy with ice cream, then side effects are drastically reduced. Very interesting, isn't it? And for engineering, for trying to discover the most efficient way for people to use their fingers while turning the knob. So how to use our fingers while turning the knob? Engineering way, you know? And art history is that a multidisciplinary approach to ritual Enema scenes from ancient Maya pottery. Enema, you know, so that is very interesting. And for physics, trying to understand how ducklings manage to swim in a formation. That's very curiosity driven, right? If you look into the sky, uh, you will see the birds flying. You know, can you see this? Uh, can you just see sugar? How do they form it this way? Isn't it very curiosity driven? Exactly, how do ducklings form uh, a pattern when swim? So that is what has won the curiosity for this year. And uh, uh, coming next is for economics for explaining mathematically why success most often goes to the most, ta not for talented people, but the luckiest. So luck plays a major role in the success. The black swan of Nassim Nikola Taleb, which I introduced and I used to cover in my channel quite often, right? That is all about the luck. So luck plays immense role. And safety engineering is for developing a moose crash test dummy. You know, uh, a moose, the animal, uh, the, the, they develop the dummy. So that is not that very interesting to me, but again, that won an Ig Nobel Prize. 
Now coming to the this month's discoveries, the first one is about that we have seen uh, anything like this before. That is what exclaimed by the, the scientists, the astronomers looking at uh, you know this uh, black hole that has already been uh, you know taken up some matter, the nearby uh, the stars, and now after two years it is gurgling out. You know it is just spitting out something coming out of the black hole. We have never seen. That is uh, one of the major discoveries happened uh, you know uh, the last month okay the next is about the cannabis cannabis does not increase the creativity but what it increases is that the thought that we are really creative so if you are taking cannabis you think that you are really creative but actually you're not that creative you know that is the study and a study of nearly 2,000 children found that those reported playing video games for three hours or more uh, per day, you know, three hours or more per day seems seeming like addicts, you know, the, the video game addicts perform better cognitive skills than those who don't play video games at all. So video games do have a positive role in children's life for cognitive development. You know, of course, there are associations of extreme video gaming with depression as well. But we cannot say that, uh, you know, you might have uh, known one aphorism that correlation does not mean causation. So it could be because of the depressed people are more prone for video game or vice versa or there is a lurking variable affecting both. You know, we don't know that about, right? One in five deaths of the US adults, 20 to 49, from excessive drinking. Alcohol kills friends. Beware of it. Health toll of the child abuse, that the victims of the childhood abuse are biologically older, you know? So uh, the child abuse have tremendous impact on uh, the later life of the children. So that is really, really, uh, you know, uh, something that we have to be worried about. A record-breaking chip can transmit entire internet traffic per second. So there is something called petabyte. So one chip has developed in the US. It is now 1.84 petabits. Petabits. So that is amazing, and they are actually. Um, uh, making it much more faster as well. You know, the, the chips are really developing super fast. Seventh story is that the black students are substantially more likely to graduate from the high school and enroll in college if they were assigned at least one black teacher in the grades K3. You know, so the, the uh, kindergarten three onwards, if they have at least one black, then they can substantially. Uh, 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 increase the prospects of graduating that is something interesting that we have to think about uh, in the gender as well as race equality concern okay and when you next hear cheerful twittering of the birds you should stop and listen Do you know why because a new study suggests that the listening the bird songs reduces the anxiety and paranoia a new paper came up in the nature by the way if you can uh, you can check all these uh, you know the, uh, the links to the original articles in the show notes click on the show notes for uh, the entire transcript of this show right uh, if you're feeling low like depressed take a walk down the memory lane the nostalgia can help you alleviate the depression that is very very interesting another story is that vitamin D deficit is associated with accelerated brain aging in the general population the latest paper has come up with the vitamin D uh, a deficiency with brain aging so uh, expose yourself to the sun you know that is the best option for us to increase our vitamin D level people with insecure attachment style tend to have stronger emotional bonds with pets you know so that is what if you are really into the pets if you like pets a lot think of your attachment style so maybe it's, it's insecure because the humans are social creatures, but humans can often be unpleasant, you see, uh, because that uh, uh, judgmentality, right? You, uh, many people are really judgmental, while well, animals don't judge, right? So that is the reason why many people are really pet lovers, including me. You know, I love my cats a lot. And the 11th story is that some people uh, really are mosquito magnets. They are stuck that way forever, so we still don't know the, the clues, but the studies have shown that the, there are actually statistically significant differences between people for the mosquito bite uh, probabilities, you know. And finally, the, the last story of this uh, month is that the new research shows that people are 70 percentage less likely to fall when their arms move freely. So that means that backpacks are much better than the shoulder uh, duffel if you're going for uh, you know adventure walk 
you know, or not, uh, uh, the scanning walk, for example, or while hiking a mountain. You know, so that is really important that your hands should be free. 70 percentage less likely. So that has got huge impact on, especially on the elders. You know, so if you are a foreign elder, elderly it can be dangerous, really. So make sure that uh, you know your uh, uh, whoever the elderly population that you must be having, like your parents or grandparents, uh, their hands should move completely free. Coming next is observation. So today I'm sp speaking to you on 18th of November. So I will tell you from 18th onwards. Today is the World Philosophy Day. 19th is the Toilet Day, World Toilet Day. While 20th is the World Children's Day. 21st is the Road Traffic Victims Day as well as Television Day. 25th is the Day for Elimination of Violence Against Women. 30th is Remembrance for All Victims of Chemical Warfare. You know, all these are the United Nations uh, uh, days. Coming next is Observances from today onwards. 18 today onwards, you can expect a Leonid meteor shower. If you are fortunate in high altitude, you can easily look the you know the the drama happening right at in front of your eyes in the celestial skies. As usual, I recommend uh, you know the uh, the app Sky View app, a free app uh, uh, for watching any of these events. And all these events are binocular events. You know, if you have a small binocular, you can see this Leonid meteor shower. 21st, you can see Alpha Monos Rotated Meteor Shower. Alpha Monos Rotated Meteor Shower. 28th is that November Orionid Meteor Shower. One of the most popular meteor shower is in this month. 21st, please look in your uh, in, uh, from your backyard or from your terrace, right? And 29th is basically Moon Saturn conjunction. In one frame, you can get both of these celestial objects, Moon and Saturn. All right. Coming next is the opportunities for the students and young faculties or researchers. Eiffel Scholarship Program of Excellence is open right now. It closes on 10th January 2023. Next year, you know, few months left, only two months left. Please apply. This is for uh, France. Fully paid PhD program. Please to apply. Global uh, going global partnership industry academia collaborative grant by British Council again open please check it out all the links are in the show notes and there is a full list contributed by the Young Academy of India volunteers and do check out that uh, you know that enter the spreadsheet of the, the December opportunities there are hundreds of opportunities please do check out and uh, yes so uh, do subscribe to the channel and if you're not a member of Young Academy of India, do uh, uh, be, uh, become a member of the Academy. It doesn't cost you any money, right? It's just a community of lifelong learners. And we also do have a, a Facebook channel. And uh, please do uh, like and join our uh, Facebook group. Okay, so Facebook group, uh, of course, not a channel. And thank you so much for watching this month's uh, video, uh, The Curiosity. And I will see you soon in the next month, that is in the month of December. And by the way, uh, you know, this particular episode, you know, uh, has been shot by my good friend, Dr. Jay Chandran. And uh, he is here. Uh, let me uh, let me introduce you to Dr. Jay Chandran. So can you please speak a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Kerala and uh, I'm working in Oman. Uh, my passion is microbiology research, gut microbiome in the face. Fantastic, uh, uh, Dr. Jaya. And can you please uh, say where in Oman you work and which university you are in? I'm working in the University of Technology and Applied Sciences in Muscat in Oman. Okay, it's a great uh, chance for me to meet uh, Dr. Felix and share some common thoughts and interests of commonality. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. J, and uh, uh, I will see you soon. I, by the way, I'm here in Jabalpur for a conference here in Mata Gujri uh, uh, Women's College, you know, Mahila Mahavidyalai, Mata Gujri. And uh, thanks for this, uh, uh, you know, Mata Gujri, the people who invited us for this uh, fantastic conference, and we both are delegates, so uh, this is an escape from the conference to see around the Jabalpur. Fantastic place, and uh, see the Narmada River. Uh, I enjoyed uh, thoroughly in the uh, in these three days, and I'm going to spend one more day here. And some nature reserve, Dunna reserve is uh, my plan, our plan rather uh, for tomorrow. And thanks a lot for tuning in. Take care, and if you can, please take care of someone else too. 
as usual. Goodbye.